And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Volkanovski is two years the elder. He will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. It's a fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 25 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Alexander the Great Volkanovski. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Hiding at a Mechacala, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. All right, this is for the UFC championship. I want you to bring my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's right, so here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. And going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's going to try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is one to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Close guard. Nice hammer fist. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, single collar tie here. Again, back into this position. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovski. <laughs> Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in Man, some body shots. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, and of course he won't succeed. Now the guy's got armbar, he's attacking it on him. Attack on bar here. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that arm bar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Volkanovsky. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, 
continue to gain posture. Suffer, suffer, suffer. Rain down, big strike at your point. Let's go, let's go, finish this guy, come on. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. That could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of winning press. Oh! Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power. That's as good a punch as he's throwing. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the By Muddy DC, we got a new UFC lightweight champion. This is a belt that doesn't always change hands very often. There's a new king at 155 pounds. The most exciting moment in sport when Dana White grabs the belt around a new champion's yes. waist. Take a moment, son. Breathe it in. You are now the best fighter in the world.